Hi guys and welcome to my channel where if you are a subscriber thank you and I appreciate you <clears throat> and if you're not hopefully you'll stick around I am getting things rolling I am learning things I am I am I'm catching on to all of this journal stuff um, everybody I think should or could or does have a big idea book Mine's a a family pack of graham crackers and so I haven't visited this book in a long time I have um, this is a pocket I made from a printable music paper and then I painted I painted it with my fluorescent watercolor so that was just something I was playing with and then this is um, it's like to keep money in you know what I mean like a like a big bank pocket or something I had that now that I want to make smaller and then this is a pattern for a card right and and I thought it was pretty cool this would be a regular card and then of course that would fold over uh, I have not made any cards and then this was just an old piece of book page that I coffee dyed and then I put this piece of fabric I got it from a second hand store and then I cut this out of uh, what women make it's a female artist book of course in the music page and then a Tim Holtz be amazed so now um, I'm on the Timu wagon. I buy so much from Timu, and I really should have made this a Timu Tuesday video, but I just I didn't want to. Um, this is actually should have been a mass make because today I did die cutting. I did die cuts, after die cuts, after die cuts, after die cuts. And y'all, I just barely tip of the iceberg, literally. Okay, so this has, and I staggered these. So this is what I'll do. I'll go and I'll find two coordinating patterns, see? And then on the other pattern, I'll do that on the opposite side. And it will be the opposite, but same pattern, opposite effect, right? So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put the lighter side over here on the darker side and then the darker side on the lighter side. <clears throat> Anyhow, this is a Timu, this is a Timu die cut. And that did not score very well but it's all right didn't have to right okay so it will go in this corner it's gonna go down here whoa don't get it mixed up miss Rhonda it's gonna go down here in this corner and then the next one up and then the next one up and then the next one up until we're done and I'm gonna leave I'm only gonna glue this edge all the way up so then we have a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here right not that I'm gonna put those in there but we're gonna have one two three four pot I think it's gonna give us four pockets so let's get this glued together very carefully and so yeah I was working on die cuts but I gotta be honest with you guys 
I got tired. I like really, really, really got tired. And I can only do so much. But I have some other, other, other stuff that I'm going to bring out and work on. Now, I could probably um, ink these edges, but I really don't want to. Right? I just I don't want to. I just want to get this put down reasonably even because I don't know what's going to fit or not fit in there. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we'll then we'll glue these pieces into the book and then we'll figure out what in the heck we want to put in there. Now, I had done some nesting dies before and nesting nesting die cuts, yeah. And used them as like a ticket like a ticket type die cut okay there we go it's looking pretty good now I forgot what I was going to tell you oh I used um, book page for coffee dyed paper behind it and Then put, um, I'll show you. I haven't done any in a minute, but I put, I'll give you an example. I would go this color, and then this piece would be a book page or coffee dyed paper, right? And it goes right there. And then next up would be this piece. Let's just do it opposite. That way you can see what I mean. This piece would go there and then the next piece would go here and then the next piece that you know a cor uh, coordinated color not the same color and then they would either get a brad or a ball pin And the black and white, okay. There's nothing wrong with it. But the black and white. The, let's just do it this way. It's going to be easier. The bulb pin isn't so bad. But they're a little looser. So I like the brad. And then you can tuck them. And actually... I was in the dark. I mean, I had no idea until I had watched uh, Melinda Davis do hers. So see how it looks? How pretty that is. Um, and, and then on these ones, I would, on the white, where it's white, I used book page or coffee dyed paper. So isn't that beautiful? And again, you can leave it this way, or you can use a, you can use a brad. But those are very pretty, very very pretty. All right, let's get back. So when I saw this one on Timu, I thought, you know what? I gotta have it because it is perfect. And they were doing. Oh, I guess in their illustration or examples, I think they were doing greeting cards, but I was like, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect for making a multiple pocket. Just like that. And that's what it's for. Look at that. That is what it's for. I guess I got that a little crooked, but it's going in my big book ideas. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Now here I might put a piece of book page. And let's see how am I doing? Let me see. Let's 
think they want to do if you're wondering I'm going through all of my my uh, paper punches just, just because it doesn't really matter what we're doing here that would be big enough yeah that would be big enough I want regular old. There we go. Let's see. I mean, something. So I hope you guys can see this. It's not very, not very dark on the edges, is it? Let's do. Let's do something orange-ish. Or something that will show up against that and look good, okay with. Here we go. I found it. Let's do. What do we do here? I still have more dyes I gotta do. But it's not easy, let me tell you. I mean, it is easy, it's simple. But die cutting seems to take a millennium to get done. Let's do this guy. Let's do that guy. And let me find. Oops. This might work pretty good. Do I want it that way? I think I want it this way. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That turned out pretty good. We'll save the little flower for another day another day another dollar that's my dog guys um, it's getting close to his bedtime he's a good boy but he barks a lot but I kind of can't blame him because We have a lot of traffic, a lot of foot traffic in our area, and it just drives me nuts. And it drives my dog nuts. Alright, so there we go. That looked pretty good. Kind of classy. Now let's glue it in. And we decided here. I gotta tell you a story about something I put in this journal here in a minute before we close. Oh, Rhonda, you know better. I always leave the low pen out and I get all plugged up. And then I wonder why I get plugged up. Alright, so at the Dollar Tree, they sell those. I'm gonna call it a sachet. It has like air freshener in it, and you put it like in your sock drawer, or you all know what I'm talking about, right? I hope. Look at that. Anyhow, I put one in the in the book. And so now every single time I open it, it smells good. And I'll show you how I put it in here. So now we have pockets, y'all. Pockets. Let's see what we can put in there. Um, I think I made some extra die cuts here. 
extra tags I did. So in here, we could probably put one and then put um, which one columns on them? Uh, it'll come to me. Those two are good. Um, ribbons on them. Lace. And then this guy will go in there. But you see, and then it'll come out. It's going to come all the way up. It could come all the way up to here. We could do a trifold of paper. Let me see if I have any paper here. That might be usable. Come on out. Everything wants to come out. Yeah, that was great. Like here. Is that how you do it? I don't know what I'm doing here now, guys. Can you believe I haven't folded a piece of paper this way since probably grade school. Okay. I believe, yeah, probably not since grade school. Mom for a pair of scissors. Okay, so then we'll go. Like that. I'll probably put it right. Actually. Man, we could make this really tiny. Oops, I screwed that up. Make that super small. Ooh, made it too small, didn't I? Anyhow, we won't put it all the way in and you guys will get the idea. See? Just like that. And then when you open it, it's going to be almost like a flower. And again, we'll just open it so far. Oh, I made it too small. But you could make that with an orange piece of paper. Um, I could also get another one. Let me get to another one. I'm throwing everything everywhere, you guys. Let's get a better piece of paper here. Is two, but that's okay. We'll kill two birds with one stone. But I just realized we can't do this um, because they're going to be two different sizes. different sizes. Okay, so now we're going to go about right there. You know what we could do now that I'm thinking about it. Let's move this up about that far. I got an idea, y'all. I hope it works. See where I traced it? Maybe, hopefully. If not, you will. If not, you will. Oh, and I 
was going to show you guys the and then we could slide it in there. Oh, it's a little big. Maybe it'll fit in this one. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. All right. So, and the next thing we can do, just so you know, it's there, is whoops. Let's just throw stuff everywhere. <laughs> Almost said a bad word. There you go, Melissa. I almost said a bad word, my friend. Catching up to you, girl. Put this on here. And then we'll come along. And we'll make it all fun. Marmalade, yeah, spice marmalade, orange marmalade, spice marmalade, it's all marmalade, all marmalade. Get those edges more than anything else. Okay, so then. Get those edges. It almost begins to look like a poppy. Ooh. A poppy or... Um, what's the word I want to say? Marigold. Marigold. Oh, I got a funny story for you guys. And I know it's like... Well, almost in August now, but <laughs> 4th of July, right? My husband and I are out. And we're very lucky. We get to see the fireworks from our carport. And we were sitting out there and it was pre-4th of July. And the neighbors, good people, came over and their tenants, their was actually the tenants, not the land, not their landlord, not the neighbor, but well, they're all neighbors. But the tenant, the renters, came over to hang out with us. And look at this. Uh, no, we decided this one. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Uh uh, it does not. All right, so anyhow, we are um, 22 minutes. I gotta move along. So, anyhow, they came over to hang out with us for a little bit just to visit and visit and visit and all that. And I had a beetle like this big, huge, with antennas like that long attach itself to my toe and no matter what I did I could not get rid of it that sucker was holding on for dear life all right so see now we'll put one behind it a little bigger and then a really big one out here and so basically we've used up our entire page but we just have really pretty journaling space. I love it. I tell you, I think it's it's beautiful. You guys let me know what you think in the comments, okay? And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out.